dude, we have all been there. If you're an RV owner, then you understand how frustrating it can be when something goes wrong while you're on the road. Nothing put the brakes on you enjoying your RV, like when an AC stops humming as soon as a heat wave comes through. Or a fridge starts making an ungodly noise as soon as you sit down for dinner. But where's the best place to take your RV to get it repaired? Should you take it to a dealership or hire a mobile RV tech? Spoiler alert, I think you should hire mobile tech but let me tell you why. First off, convenience. You know when things always break in your RV? At the most inconvenient time possible. It's Murphy's Law, I swear. It's always right after you've poured that mimosa that you've been thinking about all week, or right after you set up for the vacation of a lifetime. This is where mobile techs shine, my friend. It can be a huge hassle to pack up your entire rig just to drive to a dealership for repairs. And depending on the severity of the issue, you might not even be able to drive safely. With a mobile tech, you can get your RV repaired right where it's at without ever having to put down that mimosa. This can save you time, money, and stress and get you back to enjoying your RV as smoothly as possible. Another advantage to using a mobile RV repair tech, expertise. Pro tip, look for the word certified on the mobile tech's website. Hint, hint, you'll find it on mine. A certified mobile tech has gone to school specifically to learn about the unique challenges of working on RVs. Putting a house on wheels and driving it down the road is gonna lead to some weird challenges that your everyday residential electrician or auto mechanic aren't gonna see every day. But your certified tech has seen it before and then some. If you take it to a shop, you don't know exactly who's working on your home on wheels. But with a mobile tech, you can research the individual that you're letting into your space. If you'd like to learn how to avoid having to call a certified tech, check the link in the description. I have a link to my free ultimate guide to RV maintenance where I spill the tea with step-by-step -step guides on how to give your RV the love that it needs. What tech does that? Another advantage to using a mobile RV repair tech? Time. This is the big one, guys. Dealership service shops can have wait lists that are weeks long. And then once they have your rig parked in their lot, it can be waiting there for months until it gets back to you. Mobile techs, on the other hand, tend to have shorter wait lists, sometimes getting you in same day. We drive around with the parts in our service vehicles to solve 80% of the problems that we run into. And if you do need to wait for a part to be ordered, you're waiting with your rig not in a hotel room somewhere. You can still be on vacation. If you really wanna save some time, go ahead and hit subscribe. It takes less than a second because I come out with new videos every week on how to do repairs in your rig all by yourself. And finally, this might be the one that people care about the most, cost. Dealerships often charge a premium for repairs and you might end up paying for services that you don't actually need. Your mobile tech is standing right in front of you. I have heard so many stories of people sending their rigs into shops, getting them back months later, and not having the thing they wanted solved, solved. With a mobile tech, your tech is standing right in front of you to answer questions and make sure that you're getting what you want fixed. Your rig isn't disappearing for months only to get returned to you with an unexpectedly large bill. Your rig is with you and your tech can walk you through what the process looks like every step of the way. So there are no surprises when it comes time to pay them. If you're in the Las Vegas area and need help with your rig, hit me up. I genuinely love helping people get back to enjoying their RVs. You can find my contact info at rvrepairwoman.com. I promise never to hold your rig in a shop for months waiting for parts. You got this.